friends and welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. So I am going to today be trying on all of the makeup and skincare and beauty items that we got in our Ipsy boxes for October 2024. I just put out a video unboxing everything and now we're going to follow behind as promised with the try-ons. So we have both BoxyCharm as well as Ipsy Glam Bag. I'm going to do some kind of full uh, face of makeup using everything inside. And we're also going to do some reviews and first impressions and try-ons of the other products as well. So if that interests you, stick around and we're going to go ahead and dive on in. All right, guys. So welcome if you're new. I'm Cher. Like I said, I just put out the video where I unboxed everything and I do a lot of Ipsy here on the channel. I cover lots of beauty subscription boxes and other boxes. I do the spoilers, try-ons, reviews, unboxings on a lot of the popular ones. Ipsy especially here because I try to do a full try-on for you to help you with your choice process. We're a little late this month. Ipsy sent it a little later to me, so it didn't come before your choice period. So I know a lot of you have already made your choices for BoxyCharm and add-ons, but if anybody still is remaining, I hope this helps. And even if you've already picked out your stuff, it will still probably help you to see how to use it all. So let's go ahead and see what all I've got um, and start going in the order of how I would use it in my skincare and makeup routine. All right, we have it split kind of evenly here. I've got about five makeup products and then about five that are like more skincare type products. So we're gonna start off with the skincare. You know, I've got a lot for the body this time, which is fine. Um, we have this Hey Honey body lotion, but we've also got the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty, which I tend to use more on the body, like, you know, cracked elbows and that kind of stuff. And then we've also got uh, a body exfoliant. So lots of body stuff today. <laughs> and then a couple of lip products, a lip scrub and a lip butter. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, put on my regular skincare since I don't have a lot of skincare for the face, which is fine with me. I didn't need a lot for the face. So I'm kind of happy to have it for the body. Um, so I'm going to do my face skincare real fast. And then we'll come back in and we'll do maybe start with lips. So I'll be right back. Okay, also keep in mind that I put timestamps in the caption, so if you want to skip to whichever parts you're interested in, I try to list it out by either product or section that we're covering. Um, so we're going to start with lips. I got this Delish Cosmetics, and it's kind of like a lip scrub, so it looks nice. I am actually going to apply it with a spatula so that I don't um, start off like tainting and getting bacteria in it because that will preserve your lip scrubs longer if you don't put your actual fingers in it and stuff. Well, then I will apply it to my lips. <laughs> I'm talking and doing it at the same time. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. It is definitely like a sugar scrub and it really tastes like sugar. So be careful if you have like diabetics like I do. <laughs> oh, so I love that. Um, it's definitely exfoliating. Like, I feel like it definitely has those exfoliating, you know, sugar crystals, but it's also like softening at the same time. Like I can feel it kind of coating my lips too. So love that. I usually still just let these soak, but I'm going to kind of lick off some of the sugar, <laughs> excess sugar around. And then I'm going to apply this Dew of the Gods Sorbet Mini. It is hyaluronic lip butter. So sounds amazing. Very excited for this. It does smell like sorbet, like sorbet ice cream. Mm, it smells really good. And it feels good too. And I love when it's, you know, packaging like this that you can just squirt out easily onto the lips. I find that so much better than sticking your fingers in some. So the lip products are a hit. I love them. I think I'll start with, I'm just going to kind of do it on the arms. Uh, so I can do it on camera, but, you know, I would probably especially put it, like, all over, honestly. So this was the Frank Body um, Smoothing AHA Body Lotion. So just know that it has exfoliants in it. So it's probably more going to be like a chemical exfoliant because it doesn't have any, like, gritty things in it. It's not scrubbing in a physical one. But know that when you're putting this on your body, 
you are exfoliating. It has a smell to it. Like, it's not a bad smell. It's almost like a mix of like, I don't know, what is that? It's slightly chemical, but yet slight, I don't even want to say tropical, maybe fruity. It feels really smooth. So it is like a lotion that's actually moisturizing, but it, but I'll have to just know that it is exfoliating too. So um, I like that. I really love Frank Body stuff. So that will actually be really nice. I just, I will probably only do it like a couple times a week though, because I have to go slow on exfoliants. Then we have the First Aid Beauty um, Ultra Repair Cream and very like whipped and everything. Love that so much. It's, it is like a whipped texture. I'm going to put it here, even though I don't really have any cracked elbows, but just so you know, it'd be really good for that. I love this stuff. I love like the whipped feeling of it. It's so smoothing. It's such a good lotion. It's really good. I may end up keeping this one for myself after all. I really love it. Oh, it's so soft. It does have this like whipped topping feeling but it's, it absorbs into the skin so well. And with First Aid Beauty, like you'll find you don't get as sensitive skin and all of that. Um, they're fairly like clean and like fragrance free and all that. You can even put this on your face if you're, if you have really particularly dry skin, but I just moisturized my face. So I guess I'll just leave it with the body, but love this stuff so much. It's the Hey Honey. Um, oops, I still got some lotion on me. Where do I have left to put this lotion? So this is a shea butter and honey. So let's see if it has a scent. I don't smell one. Going into winter, it's great to have some body lotions. That's when I really use my body lotions, honestly. Ooh, that's very soothing too. Really nice. So that's great. And I have found that I don't think I break out from this brand either. That's the other thing. I have to be careful because I break out from some lotions but this is one that I don't, so I'm really glad to have this one. So I'm, I'm really happy about this. I'm glad to have a bunch of body care that I don't like break out from. <laughs> and they're they're all, everything is a hit so far. I'm loving it. That was all my skincare though. We're gonna move on to makeup. Um, I don't have anything for brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows, prime my eyes, and we will come back and go straight in with the eyeshadow palette. Very exciting. We are back and we are gonna try out this Eloise Goddess palette. It looks so beautiful. I am very excited to play with this. You know, I feel like it's not super fall or like at least not the top part. The bottom part is, but not the top. You got the blues there, but I'm dying to play with the blues. So I don't really know what I wanna do like what look I want to create, but I guess we'll just start playing and see where, where the inspiration leads us. So I think I'm just going to go in with a standard transition shade, maybe. So we're going to start with that one right there. And I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. It does have a mirror in it. So I'm going to try to use the magnified mirror for my blind eyes. And we're just going to start a transition shade. Definitely very fall. Trying to get you a little closer to see. I like the color. Very fall so far, but it might not be fall for long. All right, now hear me out. I think I'm gonna go in with a little blue on the outer edges. I, yeah, I don't know, because I really want to do something with the shimmery golds, like on the lid is what I'm feeling. So I'm going to do this darker blue. It's called Opulent and just start with a little pop of darker. Ooh, that is some pigmented stuff there. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. Let's see what we can create. very like a royal look in my opinion. Okay. And then, I mean, I of course have to play with that pop of blue right there. So I think I'm still going to use a fluffy but small brush 
I'm gonna start applying it like right about here and see if I can get some sparkles out of it. Yes, that is really pretty. How beautiful. I like how it blends into that gold though. Like the colors kind of really meld together well. Then I'm gonna come in more for the gold and I'm gonna start with that shimmer right there. It's called Goddess Glow. I'm gonna start adding it more to the middle and blend it into the other, into the blue some. Ooh, I love the sparkle of it. Check that out. And then I'm gonna come in with the middle one. It's called Divine Aura. And I'm gonna start popping that more towards the inner. And just do a gradient of colors, I think. I like to try to give you guys as much of the colors in the palette so you can get a feel for them, but I can't do like all of them or it'll just turn into a big crazy mess. I just feel like we have a little too much of the blue. Blend. Then I'm gonna come in, I can't help but use this like pop of almost silver too, like pewter. And I'll use that for this inner corner right here and just see what we can add. That makes a nice highlight. I'm gonna come under and add a little bit under the, um, like along the eye line too. And then I'll come back over it with the brown also. Blendy, blendy. I'm gonna do the other side real quick and then maybe add some eyeliner cause we didn't get eyeliner in here, like my own eyeliner and we'll come back in for some mascara. First, before I do any of the other stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this mascara on this side so you guys can see a better like difference between you know my eyes while I, it's fairly light on this eyeball just because once you start adding the darker colors you won't be able to tell what the mascara looks like so I'm just gonna try it on this side to show you first and then I'll touch up with mascara later so here is what the wand looks like this is the Tarte light camera lights camera action and I have used it before and I personally love this mascara but it is very, uh, it's kind of a volumizing one. So if you don't like like clustered volume, you might not like it. Here is the top part done. It's not great for the bottom, I will tell you that. But we'll just go as slow on it as we can. Here's a feel for the mascara. Absolutely love this stuff. Um, wanted you to see it before I got all the dark stuff on though too. All right guys, I am back and I have added a little bit of face makeup too, like base and all, um, a little bronze. But basically this is our eye look so far. I don't know, it's okay. It's very like regal. It's a lot darker than I really expected. I feel like in the palette, it doesn't look that dark, you know? Like, I feel like this would be a lot brighter and it really didn't come out very bright, you know? But I know it's mixed with this darker blue, so, and the golds, but. But anyway, we are going to try out the blushes now. I have two blushes and I'm not gonna worry about the fact that I got two because right now blush is all the rage. So we can stack them on top of each other and keep layering. I do have a video coming soon about that, by the way, so stay tuned. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try out the Tarte Shape Tape Liquid one first. This is a shade Peach. I'm going to go ahead and put it right on and apply it on the skin rather than on my hand because I feel like the shade is not going to be as crazy if it's really ultra pigmented. So we're going to go straight in with it. And I always love to look at the little, you know, that clean sponge that already got soaked. <laughs> I'm going to do like maybe three and we're gonna play with it oh that's really beautiful though I mean it really is so subtle because of the shade 
The other ones from Tarte are very pigmented. I keep getting hair all over myself. Um, that peach shade is, you know, it almost looks close to like a, a bronze or a contour. Beautiful. I'm excited to have one that's in a little bit more subtle shade than the one that I have. I have another shade that's like a darker, almost purple tone. And it just, it came out wild. It was a big old disaster, but this is going much better. So it probably depends on what shade you get. I'm going to pop some on the nose. Um, I'm even going to bring some a little further in because the blush trends now are sort of moving that direction. But anyway, it probably depends on your shade that you get in this as to how pigmented it comes out and crazy. If you get a darker shade or one that looks a little bit more like, woo, then I would advise you to put it on your hand first and let it warm into the skin and blend it there on your brush and then apply it. But if you have a very natural color like this one, I think you could just go straight in and you'll be fine. It blended great. It was totally fine. So love it. Now let's try out the other blush we got on top of that. This is from Moon Slice Beauty. And this one's a little more bubblegum pink. I think I'm just going to use the same brush. Let it all kind of blend and morph together. This is more your powder. So I'm kind of almost like following up behind my cream with my powder. Almost like I'm setting it. I'm going to put this one a little more on the this area and see how it goes. So a lot more color than the tart. I'm actually going to bring it in a little because... As we're going to talk about in my video I have coming up, this is starting to become more of a trend, like the flushed look. Almost like the boyfriend trend, boyfriend blush. We'll talk about it, so stay tuned. I'm going to put some on the bridge of my nose, too, and layer, layer, layer. <clears throat> Pretty. So, what I'm also going to do is pop on a little... Uh, finishing powder on top of that just to let it all kind of morph and blend together. I like to use my big old fluffy brush for my foundation powder so it doesn't get too concentrated on my dry aging skin and just whisk that on. That just kind of smooths it out and like Makes a little better transition on top of the bright blush, in my opinion. Really pretty. Um, I mean, and it looks very natural. The two colors actually went together pretty well, I think. You could honestly pop on a little more if you wanted. If you want even more bright, crazy pink, I'm just going to kind of flush it out just a teensy bit more and give us even more color. So, voila. And then the last that I have are just the lip liners. So, this is from Lucky Cheek. Lucky Chick, however you say it. I have one in the shade um, Lovey and the others in the shade Sweetie. I think the Lovey might have been a little bit more brown tone. And the Sweetie was slightly more maybe pink tone, if I remember. I'm kind of leaning towards the Lovey so that because we have on like gold on the eyes, keep it a little warm tone like that also. Honestly, like it's not showing up much on my lips. I feel like it's kind of the natural color of my lips. This might be too light for me. I'll try the other color and see if it's any better, even though it's a little more pink toned. Very pink, so... Let me pop on my normal, like, kind of more brown-toned lips. So, yeah, the lip liners, like, I think the colors are just, one is the shade's not going to even show up on my lips. The other one will work for when I want pink looks. And it glides pretty well. It's so sharpened and stuff right now that it's very thin. So, you got to keep going back over it a little bit. It's not the most, like, I don't know. Like, it's okay. But I've had better lip glosses and even glide glosses like this, but it worked okay. I'm always happy to have lip liners. Go back over that with 
uh, lip gloss. All right, and then I'm taking everything down and let's see how it's looking so far and if we want to add um, either more eyeliner or like, you know, mascara or if I want to do some false lashes. I'm kind of thinking it just needs a little more oomph on my eyes. So, and I need to blend, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I think we have a finished look. Here it is. Here is a peek at the eyes. I did add a little pop of highlight too off screen. Um, and I put a little more mascara and um, eyeshadow, like darker eyeshadow under here, just for a little more definition <laughs> for my taste. I did not add false lashes though. Um, so, but I think it looks okay, like with the darker colors. I still wanted it a little bit light with these cheeks, so I just left it natural, but with a good bit of mascara and all of that. So this is the final look. Overall thoughts? Um, you know, I just, I really was expecting the palette to be a little brighter, just because the the shades in here just look so much brighter. So I was expecting a lot more blue, but it came out darker blue. And then, but it's, it's pretty and very regal, I think, with the dark blue and the gold together. So it is a lot more fall than I originally thought with just looking at this palette. But, um, you know, if we had not put in that dark blue with it, that is your blue shade, which does like, shift, doesn't it? It looks so beautiful, just like that. Does it shift? I mean, we have that color on the eyes, but it just really sank into the dark blue. So probably if you put that color by itself, maybe with a pop of the silver, you can get a little more blue, you know, those color blue are leaning if you don't combine it with that dark blue. But I think if you combine it with the dark blue, you're going to get this. And then even with like some gold, this is kind of how it's going to look together. Like blended together like that is what you're going to get. There's not a much, there's not much in here that's lighter that's going to give you bright colors. That's my skin tone. So I didn't even bother using that shade. Um, but that's probably going to be your lightest colors in there if you want something bright. Otherwise, most of your looks are probably going to come out like this. Or if you just want to use the golds by themselves, I think that you can create a very golden goddess look um, with just like this color story right here. You know, alone without the others, you're going to get a much more golden look there. So a good bit of things you can do with it, but those are kind of what you're limited on. I never did try this one. So I don't know, like it probably would go more, that's kind of your transition between those, those color stories there. But yeah, so that's my thoughts, guys, is it's a lot darker than I expected, but I think you could still come off with somewhat bright if you just stick to those two colors, or you can do all gold and not have it so dark. Um, but this was my look all together. So yeah, so a little a little more appropriate for fall. Um, so I like the palette. It's just, it's a lot different than what I expected um, with trying it on. I love the blushes. Uh, definitely a great subtle color, I think, in this one, that peach. Very subtle. So if you want just a very natural flush, I think it's going to be perfect. I loved the blend. I liked working with this one a lot better, honestly. Um, but not like ultra, ultra pigmented. So if you want to add that pigment, then add this to it for that extra layer. I love, I think this is the one that's giving this very, the rosy flush cheeks. And of course, you guys saw that I kept layering and really flushed out the cheeks because that is what's in right now is these cheeks, guys. Um, the lip liners, um, they're okay, but I just, it, it's the, that one shade's just not going to work on my lips and the other one I'll have to save for the pinks. And the mascara I always love. So um, overall, you know, very happy. And I was really happy with all the skincare. I'm so glad that I got a lot of body care this time. That was actually more what I needed. So I was pretty happy. So that's pretty much it. I don't think I have any like really negative reviews. I just have sort of like I think average for the lip liners. 
maybe kind of average for the palette. Like it just depends on what looks you're going for. Like I, this isn't as exciting to me for my everyday. I think it's just, you know, those dark, the dark blue, I probably wouldn't continue to wear much for my own personal preferences of what I love in color stories, but I probably will love the palette for these golden ones. I think that's what I'm going to love. And I really want to play around with just this, like these two colors by themselves. So I think it's just my look today is a little so-so for me. <laughs> All right. So that wraps it up, guys. I hope this is helpful. I'm going to try really hard to get this edited and up as soon as possible so that it will help you with your choice period. So it's either going to air today on the same day as my unboxing or it will air tomorrow, which will be the third, the last day of your choice period. So um, hope that helps. Make sure you stick around and stay tuned for when I bring you guys spoilers for November. So I'll be bringing you regular Ipsy spoilers as well as Icon Box spoilers. So very exciting. If you want to continue to see the spoilers and unboxings and reviews like this, you'll definitely want to continue sticking around and popping that subscribe so you don't miss it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.